everybody, it's Auntie Debbie and I'm back. Okay, so are you ready for today's story? But before we do that, we need to do our Bible verse. Are you ready? I think you know this one. It's John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Okay, so now we're going to go into the story. It's in the book of John, which is in the New Testament. And it's called, Jesus Cared for the Lonely Woman. Okay, so, Jesus and his disciples, they went from town to town, and they were spreading the good news, they were healing people, they were talking to everybody about God, about um, what to do is right, what to do is wrong. And anyway, so when they were passing through this town, they went through Samaria. And so... The transportation was walking, so it can get really, really hot. So Jesus said, I think I'm going to rest by this well. And um, maybe can you folks go into town and get some food? So while Jesus was waiting there, this lady came, this woman, and she had a jug because in that well is water. So she came to get water for herself. But she came all by herself. And um, usually... In the middle of the day, like about 12 o'clock, it's really hot. So normally, the ladies come and they get water in the evening when the sun is going down. But she came by herself and she wanted to be by herself because she was lonely. She didn't want to be around other people because she made some mistakes and some people were mean about it and they teased her or they called her name. So she didn't want to be around them. So her heart was a little hardened. So she went to the well to get some water. And to get water, you need to wrap a rope around it and just drop it into this well. And it sinks down and it fills up the jug. So what she has to do is pull it up. So while she was doing that, Jesus decided to ask her, please, may I have some water? And she looked at him like, you must be a Jew because I'm a Samaritan and we don't talk to each other we're actually not talking to each other we're kind of fighting with each other so Jesus said it's okay is it okay if I have some water please and Jesus decided oh now's a good time to ask her maybe you want some living water so you won't be so thirsty as much and she was kind of sassy and she said sure give me some living water because then I don't have to come here all the time and get water for myself but she was saying how are you going to get living water when you don't even have a jug so she didn't understand what Jesus was talking about and Jesus was talking about the living water which is for forgiveness and salvation to take away your sins so she didn't understand that so while Jesus was talking to her and, and still being nice her heart started to change and so she kind of understood that this man was special because he knew things that about her that she didn't tell him. So she realized that Jesus was God's son. So then she started to accept Jesus into her heart for forgiveness and for salvation. So we need to remember that no matter what, Jesus always cared, even when we're lonely. So sometimes we forget and we think we're all by ourselves, but we're not. So we just have to remember and put it in our mind and find it in our heart that Jesus always cares, no matter what, even when you want to be by yourself. He is always there with you. Okay? Well, that's the end of our story. Okay. Are you ready? We have four questions. So the first question, where did Jesus go and who did he meet? Pretty easy. It was a well and he met a Samaritan woman, right? Okay, second question, why, why was the woman so lonely? It was a little bit tricky. She was lonely because she made a mistake and people were mean to her and teasing her. Yeah, not good. Third question. 
um, what do you think, what did Jesus do for her? He told her about receiving the living water and for forgiveness and for salvation. Last question, four. Um, what do you think Jesus can do for you when you're lonely? Right, he can always be with you. You have to find it in your heart that Jesus is right there with you. He's hugging you even when you're lonely, when things are not going good. He is right there hugging you and holding you and telling you, I love you, don't worry. Okay, so always remember that. Sometimes we forget. So just have to remember in your mind and in your heart. Okay, let's pray. Hands together, close your eyes. Okay, dear God, we just thank you. Thank you for this story because when you're lonely, when we're lonely, when I'm lonely, we have to remember that you're always there with us. Sometimes we get caught up in this world and we get so busy that we forget. We forget to ask you to come into our hearts and remind us that you are always there with us. So we just thank you for always loving us, always being with us, always walking with us, Lord, when we're lonely. And we just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And all God's children says, Amen. Okay, well that's the end of our story. I will see you next time. Bye.